Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here. Today, we're going to talk about organization, or in my case, lack thereof, specifically in the world of the magical drawers. You know I'm always referring to my magical drawers. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about, just in case you're wondering, like, what the hell is he talking about? So I have a series of these cubicle type devices here that I got to house crap. This is what's considered the main magical drawers, but you can see I have little drawer things in between in the little cubbies. I got one sitting over there. I've got a few in here. Now this device, this one that I built and put there was put there specifically for the cat. And you can see I put like a little bath mat up here so he can come up and sit on here and look out the window. He doesn't do that very often. So now what I've done is I have filled it with shit. I put a couple of, of those little drawer things in there and I've got them in every one of these little cubbies down here. What happens is I start looking for shit in these magical drawers and it pretty much is the bane of my existence because I'm constantly looking for stuff in these drawers. Every time I ordered one of those Falcam F38 devices, it came in these. There's three, four, five, six, six empty little fall cam cases. And you open them up and they got the little spongy shit in here. And you can, you know, I don't know. You can use them to put stuff in. Have I ever done that? No. But I'm like, okay, well, I'll hold on to it. Camera strap, camera strap, DJI pouch, platypod mouse-like thing. Oh, another fall cam thing for my ProGrade CF Express A reader. Glasses case. Glasses case. Glasses case. <gasps> Glasses case. So you see what I'm saying here? I've got like all these pouches. I've got all this crap in here. There's so much stuff that it's just, it's just absolutely ridiculous. Screen protectors. Here's a big one. All right, I got business card holder. Business cards. Business cards. Business cards. This is a stack of, I, I guess you call them reward cards. There's like 20 something of these here. And this is for three ships. And it has a cutout for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven cutouts. So every time I would go to three ships, they would punch it. Or every time I remembered to have them punch it, they would punch it. And then each one of these things represents a free drink. I never turned them in. I just started collecting them. There is so much stuff in here. If I go like deep into the thing, lock picking tools, old OtterBox for an old phone, an old think tank pouch that I used to use for all kinds of shit. There is so much stuff in here. It's staggering. So every time I'm looking for something, I got to tear these drawers apart. I'm stymied by the amount of crap that is in here. It is so overwhelming that I can't find anything. Or, you know, it's not that I can't find it. It's that it takes me forever to find shit because I go through these drawers on a regular basis. And I'm like, oh, okay. I think it's in the magical drawer. So you saw everything that's in this one magical drawer. Let's go into the next one. Sandbags, bunch of those. An HDMI cable I bought when I was at my dad's because I was gonna show him pictures, but then I realized he can't see, so I was just handing him my iPad. Oh, another camera strap. And I try to keep a method to the madness, but eventually it just turns to shit. Screen protectors. New eye cup, more sandbags. Here's all like screen protectors and stuff and, and cases for cell phones. Look at all these different screen protectors for the various cameras that I bought. Like this is a, a cornucopia of shit. Stuff that I just don't use. Phone case, phone case, phone case. Are you kind of getting the picture here that I am ridiculously excessive? when it comes to buying all this shit and trying to keep track of it all is a job in and of itself because there's just so much stuff that I can't keep track. Oh, 
this one, this one, like gimbal, Insta360 stuff, bigger fall cam thing, Peter McKinnon thing filled with Insta360 stuff, Platypod, gimbal. I'm not going to pull all this shit out because it's a pain in the ass to put it all back together. But all my gimbals are in here, with the exception of the Weeble over there. And it's just like trying to find everything in here for what I want and then having to tear it all apart. Ugh. See, I can't even, like, can't even get it all in there. Now, as I just went through all this stuff, I went through here looking for my Apple Pencil. Can't find it. So you know how it goes, where you're like, oh, okay, I might need that. So you bring it along just in case you, you might need it, but you probably don't. I'll show you the other shameful thing, the closet. Look at how jam-packed that is. You couldn't get a grape in here. Look up there, all the boxes. Here, I'll open it up to this side. And I gave my wife half of this so she could hang long clothes in it and put shoe racks and stuff. But look at, look at it all up there. It's just, it's packed to the hilt with boxes. And I have them all in there because I might need it. I don't know when I might need it. Now, this is the bag that I used to carry a lot. This Think Tank bag. And I actually have a bulletproof soft body armor in here. So when I'm out walking around like an idiot and somebody starts shooting at me, I've got some level of protection. I've got all these little like survival bracelets on here just in case I needed paracord when I was out walking around in the woods. I do have a gorilla pod on here. I would have thought for sure that that Apple pencil would have been somewhere in this bag or the Peter McKinnon bag. It's not neither one. What the hell did I do with that Apple Pencil? So there you have it. We just went through all the magical drawers. I looked everywhere. I looked in the two bags that I use. It's not in there. I've looked in all these drawers for my desk. It's not in there. So I have no fucking idea where this Apple Pencil is. It's maddening. Okay, so now I'm gonna continue to rip shit apart. I won't bore you with it. And this is the kind of shit that frustrates me and I'll end up going out and buying another Apple Pencil because it's just gonna save me days worth of wasted time looking for my Apple Pencil. And for all I know, I sold it and don't remember. Ah! Okay, it's literally been two minutes since I shut the camera off. I went into this other drawer that's underneath the company printer. And that's where I have like all of my old hard drives uh, mostly it's all hard drives, cables, things like that. And sure enough, at the bottom of the drawer, here's the Apple Pencil. The funny thing is, is that I did look in there, but I did a half-ass job of it. It was one of the first places I looked. So I could have saved myself the entire headache of going through all these drawers and everything. And I, I could have just done a thorough job and I could have found this right away. I'm glad that I didn't because I wanted to show you the insanity of these magical drawers. And it, granted, I didn't even go through them all. I just showed you the madness of, of some of the drawers. Just enough so that you can feel my pain. Okay, so the magical drawers. What am I going to do with all that crap? Well, I'll tell you what. The whole reason that I'm looking for this Apple Pencil is because I took my iPad Pro. I had this one sitting in the contraption above my bed. And I had the other iPad Pro that I kept in my shitter. I took that one home to my dad's, thinking that it was the one that had Wi-Fi on it. And I found out as I was on the road trying to look shit up that it, in fact, didn't have Wi-Fi. So I had confused my iPad Pros. Okay, so why am I telling you all this? Well, what I did was I took the one that was in the shitter that doesn't have, uh, I said Wi-Fi, that doesn't have cellular. That's what I meant. So I took the, the, the shitter iPad and I took that and put it into the contraption above my bed because it's never gonna leave that spot and I use that to watch videos every night or, or do whatever I'm doing at night before I go to bed. So I don't need cellular on that one. It just needs to have Wi-Fi. I am taking this iPad Pro that does have cellular, that does have an Apple Pencil, that does have 
one of their smart covers or whatever the hell they call it. So you're saying to yourself, but monkey, what are you going to do when you're sitting in the shitter? I'm not going to sit in the shitter with an iPad anymore because I waste a lot of time doing that by sitting there flipping through dumb shit on the internet. And that is sort of the crux of all this. I need to start cleaning house. Cleaning house meaning cleaning out these damn magical drawers that are filled with shit that I don't use. So I'm either going to sell it, give it away, or get rid of it. I'm going to go into that closet. I'm going to go through all those boxes. I'm going to see what I need to keep and what I don't. And basically the only thing I need to keep are camera boxes, lens boxes. Everything else can be thrown away. Any gear that's in there that I'm not using, sold, given away, or thrown away. I'm going to be cutting down on my social media because I am one of those dumbasses that mindlessly scrolls through and it constantly has to check stuff. I can't go to the bathroom without a phone or an iPad. If the iPad is dead and I have to charge it and I forget about it and I go into the bathroom, it's like, oh my God, oh my God, how am I going to sit here without looking at something on the internet? It's stupid. And I'm wasting a lot of time doing that. And as it gets nicer out, I want to spend less time inside doing dumb shit like that. Now, I do have this all set up now. Well, I got to charge this thing. In fact, I don't know why I'm holding it while I'm doing this. There, it's at 2% now. It was at zero. I'm going to charge that all up, have this all set up to, and good to go, which it pretty much already is, uh, because this is what I had intended to use this iPad for in the first place. And it's all going to be for content creation and uh, imbibing videos, how-tos, things like that, things that are going to help me grow as an individual. So I'm going to delve back into relearning Japanese because not that I could speak it fluently, but I did go to Japan twice as I was growing up. And the last time I was there was when I was nine years old in 1977, the summer that Elvis died. And I could pretty much handle myself and I could understand stuff, but I was a nine-year-old sponge and I didn't have the 54-year-old I can't learn shit. I'm an adult. I'm dumb mentality. So I'm going to start learning Japanese again. And I also want to learn sign language like the way I indicated that uh, because I've always wanted to. And I keep saying I'm going to and then I just don't. So no more time wasting looking at dumbass social media. I'm going to be looking at stuff online that's going to help me grow as an individual and do some of the things that I've always wanted to do. So again, cleaning house, getting rid of gear that I don't use, don't need getting the gear that is going to be perfect for my flow. I'm done. I have the a7R5. I have the 20 to 70. I've got all the lenses I need if I want to do portrait photography, and I have all the lenses that I need if I want to do wildlife photography. And anything else that I want to film in between, I've got more than enough uh, audio equipment that I don't need to buy anything else for that, unless it goes bad, like my one DJI transmitter. Still haven't been able to get a hold of them. The monkey's cleaned house. The monkey's shown you the insanity of the magical drawers. I've shown you that so that you can see how messed up it is and how I need to just clean that up and clean my life up in general. I need to cut the fat. I need to get in condition in all aspects of my life, and I need to get busy doing what I want to do. So that's what I'm doing. That's all I wanted to show you today, which is plenty. Remember, the magical drawers aren't magical. They're madness. Okay, so that's it. That's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.